When the last Soviet soldiers crossed this bridge into Uzbekistan on February 15, 1989, it closed nearly a decade of painful losses for Moscow in Afghanistan. The conflict cost the lives of over a million Afghans and thousands of Soviet forces, displaced countless families, and drained Kremlin coffers. Analysts widely believed it hastened the collapse of the Soviet Union two years later. Afghanistan is still struggling with the fallout. In December 1979, Soviet forces poured into Afghanistan to prop up Kabul's Marxist government as insurgent groups fought for power. Moscow expected to achieve its aims quickly and quell the resistance. The West responded harshly. First, the United States pulled out of the 1980 Moscow Olympics. The implications of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan could pose a most serious threat to the peace since the Second World War. As the fighting widened, the United States and its allies in the Middle East steadily stepped up funding and arms to Islamic resistance fighters. Economic sanctions followed. Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev accused Washington of using Afghanistan as a pretext to broaden its influence in Asia. The conflict turned into a grinding war of attrition for the Soviets, the Western-backed Mujahideen insurgents, and the Afghan population. As the conflict extended into the late 1980s, U.S. President Ronald Reagan kept the pressure on Moscow. Today, the brave people of Afghanistan are showing that resolve. The Soviet Union says it wants a peaceful settlement in Afghanistan. Yet it continues a brutal war and props up a regime whose days are clearly numbered. We are ready to support a political solution that guarantees the rapid withdrawal of all Soviet troops and genuine self-determination for the Afghan people. As the Soviet economy began to slump, talks began in Geneva, aiming to end the conflict without creating a power vacuum in Kabul. In mid-1988, Reagan agreed on a deal with Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev. We have signed the Geneva Accords, providing for the withdrawal of all Soviet troops from Afghanistan, and the first withdrawals have begun. The full Soviet withdrawal took roughly nine months to complete. During the decade-long conflict, an estimated five million Afghans, a full one-third of the country's pre-war population, fled to Pakistan or Iran. Moscow sent over 600,000 soldiers into Afghanistan. An estimated 15,000 were killed there. A former Soviet commander had bitter words 10 years after the final withdrawal. Historians often refer to the Afghan war as the Soviet Union's Vietnam. It left veterans with a search for greater meaning behind the terrible sacrifices. Я сегодня находясь перед своими солдатами, своими бойцами, встречаясь с родными и близкими, никак не могу сказать никому, что эта война закончилась для нас как бы ничем, что солдаты, которые там выполняли долг, погибли и погибли зря, потому что по чьей-то ошибке солдаты погибли, потому что они защищали свою страну и они выполнили воинский долг. Across the former Soviet Union, war memorials recall local soldiers who went south and never returned. For Afghans, the withdrawal did not lead to peace and stability. Ahmad Shah Massoud was a top anti-Soviet commander who was later assassinated by al-Qaeda in the days before the September 11, 2001 attacks against the United States. After the Soviet pullout, Afghanistan plunged into more than a decade of civil war between splintering Mujahideen factions. 
These included militants who eventually seized control in 1996 under the banner of the Taliban. The United States intervened in 2001 to topple the Taliban after it refused to hand over the al-Qaeda planners of the September 11th attacks. After 17 years, thousands of more deaths and a resurgent Taliban, President Donald Trump has said he wants to find peace in Afghanistan. He's considering pulling out U.S. troops. Here we find ourselves looking at this point for an exit. But we want an exit that at least leaves some semblance of order rather than an invitation to chaos. Three decades ago, the Soviets already found out that leaving is easier said than done.